Hey, my name's Mev, and I've been using the M1 MacBook Air to work from home for about a year now. I went for the base bag, and I managed to get it cheaper because it's from Apple's refurbished website, so I saved about £100, but the laptop works absolutely fine, and it looks as good as new. The main reason why I bought this laptop is because of Apple's silicon. I really like how Apple has taken the CPU, RAM, and GPU, and combined them together to make the M1 chip. Now we end up with faster and more efficient MacBooks than before. And now with the recent M2s, everything is just getting better and better. But for my day job, I write code for a visual effects company, and that's why I went for the absolute base spec. I'm really not dealing with huge file sizes, and for the most part, I remote into a PC at work. So I usually always have my MacBook connected to my external monitor, and my desktop setup looks something like this. It's quite minimal, holding just the bare essentials like a keyboard, webcam, microphone, and a notepad. I'll be making a separate video on my desktop setup and everyday essentials soon. But for this video, I'll be working with the M1 MacBook, completely unplugged, to show you how I get on with it throughout my working day on a single battery. So I started off my day with a laptop fully charged and at 7.30 a.m. I began by watching some QuickTime videos and using Safari until 9 a.m. The battery went from 100% to 94%. From 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. I had a 30 minute video call. I downloaded some apps, wrote some code and I used Google Chrome. The battery went from 94% to 70%. From 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. I did more coding continued using Chrome and watched some YouTube. The battery went from 70% to 48%. At this point, I went for lunch and left the laptop on standby. The battery went down to 45%. The second half of my day was more intense. I had a 45 minute video call which took the battery down from 45% to 32%. Then at 3 p.m. I had another 45 minute video call which took the battery down to 20%. And finally, continuing the rest of the day by coding and using Chrome, the battery went down to 6% by 5pm. The screen brightness was at around 75% throughout my working day. So that's around 9-10 to 10 hours just on battery. I really enjoy the size of this MacBook. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison with my previous MacBook Pro, which has a 15-inch screen. You can see that you would lose a few lines of text from the height and width when coding, but nothing too drastic. And if you really need the extra screen size, you can always just plug it into an external monitor. But the great thing is, once you're done, you can simply unplug it from the big monitor and just throw it in your bag and take it with you to places. I've used it on a plane and in a coffee shop and it's really not intrusive at all. It's so handy for remote working because of its size. And if I had to choose only one keyboard to use for work, for now, I'd actually go with the one on the M1 MacBook Air. I don't know why, but I just find myself mistyping less on the MacBook and even typing faster. One cool thing that I like doing while working is being able to airplay my music from my iPhone to the MacBook. I can then either use the laptop to change the song or my watch or even my phone. It's a very nice ecosystem. Another feature I use a lot is being able to copy text from the iPhone and paste it onto my laptop. So say a friend recommends a place to eat on WhatsApp, I can simply copy the name of the place, open a new Chrome tab on my laptop and just press paste. It's so handy. And another thing I found out is that you can airplay photos and videos from an iPhone to the MacBook. It's a nice way of viewing your photos and videos without having to airdrop them to your laptop each time. So yeah, that's my experience with the M1 MacBook Air. It's made a huge improvement to my work from home lifestyle like being able to work in different parts of the house, working abroad, and here's a big one, sometimes being able to work in silence because it has no fans. This was me with a gaming PC at the start of work from home. And this is me now. It can get a bit too silent, so I'll just stick on some music. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe as I'll have more videos to come which will cover tech I use and also my personal workflows and tools that I've made to help me stay organized and productive. In my next video, I plan to talk more about my desk setup and accessories. So yeah, a lot to come, so why not stick around and I'll see you later.